With this latest version of Reflow, I'm actually really excited to introduce CSS regions. Now, if you're not familiar with CSS regions, you could check out the spec. It is extremely long and really quite complicated. But to simplify it a bit, it's about having content that can flow through containers that you've predefined. A simple example of this is actually made by Chris Coyer over at CSS Tricks quite a while ago. He's talking about the power of CSS regions and how it can impact responsive designs. So here's a very standard layout. You have articles on the left, ads on the right, and if you were following DOM order, all of those ads would appear at the bottom. But using CSS regions, you can actually sprinkle those ads throughout the layout. We've created tooling inside of Reflow to actually make this very simple. So let's take a look. Now CSS regions is a very shiny new feature inside of the web. Now to enable this feature inside of Reflow, go up to View and Shiny Web Features. So these are features that are not fully supported across the entire web, but we've created tooling because these are going to be some very powerful CSS features as the web continues to evolve. So let's turn on CSS regions and see what it can do. So I'm going to draw out a text box and I've grabbed a little bacon ipsum and I'll draw out another text box, paste in my text. Now as I resize this box you'll see the text is just going to wrap and the box is going to push down. Now if I take these two containers and I right click and say create region container it will actually take the contents from both of these containers and link them. So now as I resize this one, you can see it's actually adding that content to the second container. Now what's even more interesting here is I can create a box in between them. Let's give it a background color just so we can see it. There we go. And the content can still flow around the other elements in the DOM. So this is going to be very powerful while creating responsive layouts. So let's actually see one in action here. So here's a fictitious site that we've created called Bike Co. If you go to Reflow's page on html.adobe.com, you'll actually be able to find this project for download on the Shiny Web Features page. So as you can see here up front, we've actually created a pull quote. Now let's put this into preview mode and you can actually see how this behaves as we resize. So as we start to resize here, you can actually see the text wrapping around this pull quote. You know, this is really very cool behavior for a responsive site. Here we hid the right hand side containers and regions are smart enough to flow in the containers that are left over. If we come back out a bit, let's look at some other content here. So down here we actually have some text and some images all inside of a couple of flows and we can see how they're all flowing together across the two columns. So let's look at how you actually author this. If we come back up to the top, you'll actually see we have several divs and how they're all connecting. Now if I double click on a region container, we go into region edit mode and this allows you to actually edit the content of those containers. Now you can either click back or, or double click out and that will bring you back into the main layout editing. Now I can resize these containers and do everything you would typically do inside of Reflow, but we've separated the content versus the layout with regions. Same thing in this area where you can see the content is flowing between all of the different boxes. And again, down at the bottom we have these two region containers and how we've mixed the content inside of the flow container. So now if we look at the authoring experience, I want to show you one more project that's going to be available for download. So this project is actually only half done. It's set up so you can pick up this project and continue working on it and hopefully get a feel for how region authoring is going to work. So let's see what you can do. So let's zoom out just a bit. And we've got some beautiful imagery in an article provided by National Geographic about baby elephants. And who doesn't like baby elephants? Now if I choose this text, and, and let's even double click just to see the, the content that we're working with. And this is actually a whole article. It's, it's very long and really awesome. You should take your time to read this. Now for authoring, let's just come back out to our default styles, come all the way down here. So you can see I, I have an image set up 
Now if I choose this container, I may want to make it a little bit taller, get a bit more text in here. There we go, find a nice break. Now you'll notice a, a red plus button, and this means there's additional content that, that needs to be put on the stage. So if I click that little red button, it's actually going to change my cursor to the region drawing mode. I'm going to draw out a new column. Let's do that, and I'm going to just say I want it to be a thousand pixels tall. And let's say I want to draw a second column. And do just that. There we go. Maybe even make this a little bit wider. So you can continue on, add some additional background images, add some additional text, and start to get a feeling for how region content is going to be authored across different breakpoints. Great. Thanks for checking this out. For more information, please go to html.adobe.com and follow us on Twitter, where we keep talking about all these new announcements. Thanks.